What's up, America? Friends, family, and America. Good morning. It's Afro Prepper. And it's a beautiful sunny day here in Arizona. Saturday, August 6th. And really quick, just kick it with y'all for a minute. First of all, we have Captain Barack. Just partying it up on my 50th birthday, everyone. We passed a deal. It's not enough. No. Our credit rating is downgraded. <laughs> Folks, so, you know, while everybody's signing and worried about the 10-year collective bargaining agreement in the NFL, we about to really enter some dangerous, treacherous territory, you know? And these cats want us to sit back and watch the NFL. And people are actually excited about this. You know what I mean? One of my homies texted me and said, hey, you want to join our fantasy football league? I said, no, thank you. I respect it. respectfully decline. And he goes, come on, man, join the Matrix. <laughs> he was being sarcastic. But the point is, man, come on, yo. We got massive unemployment. Massive people who just given up on trying to get a job. And people worried about football, man. And now here's your, here, here's your new news up there. Um, don't, uh, the N NBA it probably won't play. It's all to keep you distracted, man. I'm beginning to think that even these talking points that come out in the news, uh, you know, S&P downgrades, uh, U.S. credit rating. I think these are even talking points for, for stuff that they're doing behind the scenes. I'm doing some research on this. Is I mean, I, this this is this woke me up at six o'clock in the morning today, and I, and I'm looking for some proof of this. You know, proof of what the, the the media puts out there, and really what goes on behind the scenes. Very interesting to me. Um, but that's really it, America. But come on. Seriously, you know, yeah, the majority of, well, I'm not going to say the majority because I don't even know the stats, but you have quite a, a few people out there who just refuse to wake up because it's scary, and you're damn right it's scary. Who knows what's going to happen, but it's not good, period, you know. Last point, I sat up last week and on, and watched about three hours Three, maybe even four hours of this. Um, uh, it was the Senate committee, uh, you know, talking to was Special Agent Newell and Special Agent. Th so <laughs> this one, that one, and the other one. It was four of them up there, uh, and Daryl Issa, man. I mean, and these other congressmen are just asking these ATF agents what were they thinking by actually letting guns walk. You know, and you got this guy up there doing the basic thing that every kid did to their parents. And that is, can you repeat the question, Mom or Dad? It's, it's all up in your face, man. You know? There's an old saying that says, if it was a snake, it would have bit me. It was so close, if it was a snake, it would have bit me when you're looking for something. It's right there. Wake up, man. I'm getting tired of these people, man. I'm, s I'm sick of them blatantly sick of them because they're mortgaging you and your kids' future, man, for for a short-term gain. That is blatant irresponsibility, and they want us to be concerned about some damn football. I don't get it. Help me out. Maybe maybe folks out there, maybe maybe those who uh, don't think anything's happening, maybe you can help me understand, uh, you know, what's going on. You You guys help me. Afro Pepper, I'll catch you on the flip side. And I'm out.